very nice piece of machinery indeed. First thing to do is get it all apart, clean it, and then the other big thing that we're going to have to do is somehow other work out how we get this back together. I think we might need a bit of assistance from Will with that. Pop the old magnifying glass on. I can say with a great deal of confidence, and I'm very pleased to be able to say this, that the sapphire stylus there is in remarkably good condition. So there's not a lot of wear on this, just a lot of muck. Let's do something about it. The proof of the pudding, of course, as ever with any sort of any mechanical antique, is does it work? And you never really know that till you put it all back together. All part of life's rich pageant. But as well as rebuilding the music maker, Tim's got the thorny issue of the horn. Well, could I possibly borrow you for a few moments? How can I help? This phonograph horn. Okay. It should be a lovely sort of golden colour. Right. But I'll get it... on the bench and uh, run a few tests and see, see what I can do. Give it your best shot, mate. I'll give it my best shot. Thank you. Right, Tim. The varnish on the, at the moment is really thick and incredibly red. So I'm going to use the stripper to take off the polish, see if that removes some of that colouring. If that doesn't, then I need to think of a plan B. Now let's see if it actually works. Well, we've got it to work again. Yeah, that amazing. That is quite remarkable, actually. So what is this disc, then? Is, is it, it wax? wax? No, it's actually actually made of celluloid. Edison Amberols, as they were called, were one of the very first forms of plastic. Oh, can oh, I have a look at it? The earlier ones were made of wax. But, yeah, try it on. How would you know that there was... Oh, I see. It looks like there's, like, a record that... Yeah, the, gro yeah. the groove yeah. starts at yeah. the edge, and instead of on a flat disc where it would start at the edge and spiral into the middle... Yeah. ..with it's... these, you start at shot at one end and it just goes round and round and round. Wow. The stripper has done a fantastic job at getting that nasty layer of varnish off, but there's still quite a lot of purple in the wood surface itself. So I'm working my way around with a really soft grit sandpaper until that purple comes out. 